Okay, welcome back to creating a cryptocurrency in Python. Um, in the last video, we looked at making this registration page and a function to log in the user. So in this video, we're actually going to create a page where the user can log into their account. And we will do that at slash login. And then this page is also going to have the methods get and post just like our registration page. And then I'm going to define login and we're going to return a render template to login.html. And I've actually gone ahead and created login.html for you guys so we don't waste time. And I'll summarize it for you here. It's just an HTML document. I've decided to include the messages that we coded earlier in the includes. Um, and I will provide this code in the uh, description, by the way. I have also created a form where you enter your username and password and then click login. And then once we click login, we'll have to deal with that. So let's do that now. So inside of login, we're going to check to see if that button has been clicked. Has the user decided to log in? So if request on method equals post, then we're going to get the username that they entered. Like that. And then we're going to get the password that they entered by using request.form at password. And let's actually call this the candidate because it's more of the password that they've entered and not necessarily the actual password. We need to verify that candidate, the hash of candidate is equal to the actual password of that user. So we're gonna access our users table and I'll copy that line from here. And then we're gonna get the user of the username that they've entered. And then we're gonna get the actual password of that username that they have entered by using user.getPassword. And now we're gonna see if that password exists. So if we go to get the password of a username that doesn't exist, that would imply that the username that they have entered does not exist. So we can check that by saying if actual pass is none, then we know that the username is not found. And we'll flash a danger message. And then we'll return a redirect for the login page. Now we can check if the passwords are equal. Because if, we, uh, if we're in the else block, then we know that this username does exist. So we could check that the actual password is equal to the candidate or the password they have entered. So we're going to do a SHA-256 underscore crypt dot verify candidate actual pass. And if that is true, then we can log in the user. And we'll flash, you are now logged in. Success. And then we can redirect to the dashboard where we should welcome the user. Now, if this password that they have entered is not correct, we're going to flash invalid password danger and we'll return a redirect to the login page again. Okay, cool. And then we can also code a logout page. So we'll do that by app.root slash logout. And that will very simply end the current session of the user. So we'll define logout and we'll just do session.clear. We'll clear that dictionary, we'll flash log out success success and we will redirect to the login page
like that. Cool. So let's test uh, what we just done here. Let's open up our app, click on the login page, and render template is not defined. I think I misspelled it, so let's, uh, let's check on that. Yeah, I misspelled render template. And we have an unknown tag inside of our Oh, inside of our messages file. M4 should be one word, I think. Okay, cool. Now let's try and log in. So what user did I, okay. So we know John Doe exists and John Doe's password is John. So let's try and log in to John Doe using the password John. Name actual pass is not defined. Ah, capitalize, reload. Oh, did I do it again? I did. Okay, <laughs> let's try it out. Could not build your off. Oh, and I spelled dashboard. <laughs> spelled dashboard wrong. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. Welcome to the world of coding. <laughs> okay. So that worked. <laughs> now let's do slash log out. Okay. Log out success. Okay. Now let's try and log in with John Doe, but with the incorrect password. So we know the password is John and we know that that worked. So let's do John one. So this should not work. And as you can see, it says invalid password. Perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now let's try and load a user that doesn't exist. So let's try John Doe one, two, three. We know that that user doesn't exist. So we're testing this actual pass is none, and we should see a message saying username is not found. And we do. So our login is working right now, which is very good. So now let's use um, something to make sure that when we're accessing the dashboard, so let me just log out here. Okay, so if I go slash dashboard right now, so we're not logged in at this point, I go slash dashboard, see so we have welcome none. So really, if we're trying to access a page that you need to be logged in to access, we want some kind of redirect here in this case. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to use func tools. So if we open up our terminal and a new tab and we pip install func tools. And we'll give that a second. Okay, now we can do from func tools import wraps. And then we'll define a wrap, which is kind of like a signature or a, like this is a, this is kind of a method wrap here. So we're going to define what it means to be logged in. So we're going to define underscore or is underscore logged underscore in, and that's going to take the parameter F. And then we're going to use the wraps tag at wraps F. So it's going to wrap that function. And then we're going to define a wrap. And that's going to take args and he args. And then we're going to check if logged in is in the session. So if logged in is in session, we know the user is logged in. So we're going to return the args and the qargs. And if that is not in the session, then we're going to flash unauthorized. Please log in. 
and that will be a danger message. And then we can return a redirect URL for login. And then we have to return our wrap. Like that. And now we can use is logged in as kind of like a yeah, very useful tool in the future for all of the pages that should only be accessed by a user that is logged in. So right now we know that dashboard should only be accessed by a user that is logged in. So we can just simply put here at is underscore logged underscore in. And now if we try to access the dashboard without being logged in, it will flash the message unauthorized, please log in. However, if we log in, oh, and we have an invalid password, if we log in, then we can access the page. So another page that we should probably do that to is our logout page. So if we go to logout, we should be logged in to logout. So let's add on our logout page at is underscore logged underscore in like that. So now we have our registration, our login and our main page working beautifully. So in the next video, we will look at maybe starting our um, transaction stuff, our blockchain and implementing those earlier files into our web application. So I'll see you then.